Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's a new day, and today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to pay attention and also to be focused. So let's start with our daily routine. I need someone to read the day and date. Who's going to help me today to read the day and date? Yesterday was Tuesday. So what day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. Well done. And the date is May 20, 2020. And now let's read the title of the lesson together. The title of the lesson is Irregular Verbs. So try to think about the title of the lesson. When I say verbs, irregular verbs. So all of us, we come to know that a verb is doing words. For example, eat, run, play. So anything that you do, we call it verb. And also verb. We can call the word verb also action, word, action, word. You know, action is something we do, okay? And the word irregular, during the lesson, I'm going to explain to you what does the word irregular mean. So, now let's say we're going to talk about verbs, but type of verb that's called irregular. And something else, in the previous lessons we have learned about simple present tense, simple past tense, and also future tense. Let's write some examples over here. I'm going to write a sentence in the present or in the simple present tense. Let me write, I eat. Uh oh, we need to start with a capital letter. I eat all my food every every day. I'm full stop. Okay, here I'm ta I'm talking about something you know happens every day. So every day I eat all my food. If I want to talk about something that happened in the past, for example, yesterday, so I'm going to say, I ate all my food yesterday. Okay, now I am talking about something that happened in the past. Now I'm going to write another sentence. I'm going to use the future. I would say, or the future tense, I would say, I will eat, uh oh, eat. I will eat all my food tomorrow. Okay, and full stop. So, everyone, okay, so everyone, I want you to look at each sentence, okay, and to circle the verb. So, where's the verb here? Eat. Correct. And where's the verb here? Ate. Correct. And let me circle because I said let's circle. And here, I will eat my food tomorrow. Also, the verb is here. Okay, everyone. So, but as you can see, the verb here in the past tense is different, right? So, so it doesn't look like the other verbs. And today we're going to study about the irregular verbs in the past or in the simple past tense. And we usually use the simple past tense to talk about the things that happened in the past. When I say in the past, 
it means I'm going to talk about the things that happened yesterday or last week, last month, last year, and so on. Okay, and here we go everyone. Let's read the objectives together. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the irregular verbs in sentences. Okay, everyone, um, I want you to use your background knowledge to remember the lesson that we have learned before about simple past tense. Close your eyes, close your eyes, and try to remember what we have learned before about simple past tense. Do you remember Uncle Ed? Yeah, we have learned that we need to add ED to the end of the verb when we use it in the past tense. Because the verb will help us to know what is the tense we are going or what is the tense we are talking about because we have three tenses, okay? Present tense, past tense, and future tense, okay? So I want you to remember only the things that we have learned about the past or the simple past tense. So if I want to talk about something that happened yesterday, okay, so let me write a sentence over here. See, I'm going to write a sentence. See, I played, let's say I played outside yesterday, yesterday. okay everyone, look at the sentence here, look at the verb. As you can see, we added ed to the verb, right? Let me write another sentence. I, let me say, think, I need your help. Can you think about a sentence or think about something that happened with you yesterday or before yesterday or last week and so on? Okay, so let's write the sentence. I, Helped my mom last week. Okay, everyone, so I want you to pay attention to the verb. Okay, it's regular, right? So, everyone, I want you to pay attention to the verb. So, the verb here is I need your help. Where is the verb? Excellent. Played. I played outside yesterday. And where's the verb over here? Helped. Excellent. The verb is helped. So everyone, as you can see, and it's crystal clear that every time we talk about something that happened in the past, we need to add ed to the verb, right? And we call these verbs regular verbs because we put ed and which is very easy to you to recognize but today we're going to learn about irregular verbs they don't have exact pattern you need to memorize the pattern okay because when you talk about something that happened in the past i said to you you are going to add ed to the verb but today we're not going to add ed but the form of the word will be different for example, we're not going to say I eat, we will say I ate, the verb here, ate, okay? So, let me write it for you so you can see it. So, if you want to talk about or about something that happened in the past, okay, for example, let me write I ate. So, I want you to look at the sentence, I ate, I ate all my food yesterday yesterday and full stop so look at the verb here we did not add ed to the verb right so this kind of verb we call it irregular verb okay so we're gonna we are gonna learn today about irregular verbs and everyone here we go this is a video about irregular verbs 
okay so watch the video and come back and remember today we're talking about the past tense okay the past tense the past tense means we're, we're talking about something that happened in the past or we are writing about something that happened in the past but we're gonna learn how to use the verbs as I said so far there are there are two types of verb in the past tense regular verbs and irregular verbs okay so watch the video and we are gonna talk more about it okay so everyone look over here and let's read what's written irregular verbs irregular verbs have special past tense forms they don't end in d or ed you will need to memorize these special forms for example drive drove look over here let's read these together here's the verb and here's the past tense of the verb okay so see saw say said tell told go went do did so here's the verb in the present tense and if you want to talk about something that happened in the past you need to change the verb into these forms so let me everyone write a sentence or write about something that happened with me yesterday or last week okay so everyone let me write a sentence okay so i want to say that yesterday i went to school i cannot say yesterday i go to school i'm gonna say yesterday i went to school something else if you want to talk about your homework and you finished your homework you're not gonna say I do my homework you will say I did my homework yesterday because you are done with your homework because you're talking about something that happened in the past okay you want to say that yesterday you saw an airplane in the sky you cannot say I see you're gonna use I saw okay so we use these forms of verbs to talk about something that happened in the past okay so let me choose one of these and write a sentence so can you help me to write the sentence let me choose tell so i'm gonna write about something that happened in the past so i'm gonna use these forms i told uh oh it's capital letter i told my mom uh oh to okay i told my mom to make cake yes ter day okay so here everyone as you can see uh oh i used uh told instead of tell because i'm talking about something that happened in the past so what you need to do is to memorize these verbs try to read them carefully and memorize them okay and here we go let's have fun together remember we're talking about irregular verbs irregular verbs they don't have a specific form okay and you need to memorize them so let's read them together say set tell told go went when one teach taught draw drew meet <coughs> sorry meet where is that met yeah it's over here take took find found cry cried 
run, run. Wow, we did it. I want you everyone to also do it by yourself later on, okay? So if you have time, try to do it one more time. And here is task one. What I want you to do everyone is to get your grammar booklet because we're going to use it today. So get your grammar booklet and open page 87. Here are the questions. So what we are going to do is to rewrite the sentences. Use the past tense of the verb, okay, in bold. Uh, what I want you to do first is to find the verb. Look at each sentence and find the verb, okay? So let's do a quick move to find the verb in each sentence. And then what we're going to do is to use the past tense of the verb, okay? So let's go. I, I see some fireworks. Where's the verb? C. Correct. I say, wow, what bright lights. Where is the verb? Say. Excellent. Let's come back next year, we say. Where is the verb? Say. Correct. You tell Tom about the fireworks. Where is the verb? Tell. You are amazing. We go with his family. So, where is the verb? Go. Wonderful. We do many activities together. Where is the verb? Do. Amazing. So, what we are going to do now is to use the past tense of the verb okay so let's do it and here we go so see in the past it will be saw so i saw some fireworks say it will be said i said wow what bright lights say will be said Let's come back next year, we said. Tell, it will be told. You told Tom about the fireworks. Go, it will be went. We went with his family. Do, it will be did. We did many activities all together. And here we go. Write the sentence of your own using an irregular verb. Change the verb into past tense and then write the sentence. So it's your turn to write two sentences, okay? But remember, use the past tense. So it, it means you're going to change the verb. So do it. And at the end, there are two sentences, but there is a mess everywhere. And what you need to do is to arrange these sentences, okay? So, sentence number one. So, you, yesterday, I. So, I need your help. What we are going to do. So, I... So, I saw you yesterday. Well done. I saw you yesterday. Let's go to number two. Our homework we last did night. So, we, then the verb, did, we did, our homework last night so let's check the answers okay so i saw you yesterday we did our homework last night and here's the game and i'm gonna send you the code to play the game okay i'm gonna um, try to 
answer some questions and then I will send the code and you will try to continue the rest of them okay so let's start our game will be about irregular verbs okay so here so the past tense of make let's check correct past tense of tell Tells, told, or telling. Told, great. Past tense of swim. Swap. Past tense of wake up. Walk up. Okay, so everyone, I'm gonna stop here, okay, and I'm gonna send you the code. I want you to play the game and to find the regular verb. So, thank you, everyone. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow.